Okay, so this is uh, the sad ending of the very first day. I actually wanted too much and got stuck in this wilderness here. And uh, had to call the, uh, the owner of the uh, hotel and a very helpful Spanish person opted uh, for coming and getting me. So hopefully this will work out. Yep. It's uh, very beautiful, but um, very hard. It's very uh, up and down and it was very exhausting because it was very warm. And, uh, and then after all, I still had, had uh, air coming out of the uh, tire, the rear tire. So I guess uh, I've got a flat, although it's not completely flat. I don't know. I have to check that, unfortunately. So it was still demoralizing because um, it's, I'm stuck like 29 kilometers before Almodovar. So the app shows me two and a half hours on the bicycle. So I could have made it by 10 maybe. Probably would have gotten dark. So, well, so uh, it would have been tough, but possibly could have made it. But, uh, you know, riding down, even riding down these mountainous gravel roads is something of an adventure and you can't really go fast. So might have needed even more than two and a half hours. So the person, Jose Luis, has, a, has an SUV. I hope the bicycle will fit in there. And then I still need to repair the flat tire. Oh, that's strange. Anyway, sun is almost down. I'm not sure whether he comes with the uh, the lady of the the hostel or the hotel or just by himself. I think both of them come because he probably wants to see how this stupid German got stuck in the Portuguese, southern Portuguese uh, wilderness. Actually, I wanted to call a taxi uh, earlier on, but the people didn't understand me well and, and um, somehow there was no taxi. So what I did here uh, I shouldn't have gone on this gravel road, maybe should have stayed on the main road. That would have made it easier for the person to come and get me. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, this was tough. And then the the air coming out of the rear rear, rear tire was, was the, the finish. So I sat down there and uh, called the owner. Can you come and get me or do you know somebody who can come and get me? Difficult uh, conversation, didn't speak much English. So uh, fortunately there was the Spanish Jose Luis uh, who I could talk to and explain where I was and uh, share the location. So hopefully he'll find me. Okay, sad day because uh, I'm 52 years old and uh, still get stuck uh, like a novice, like somebody who does this for the very first time. Anyway, very sad. Okay, hopefully uh, the coming days will be better. Take care, bye-bye.